Hello my friends, so today I receive a phonograph that was in the same box as the horn so the horn take, took a, a big hit so um, it was even worse than, than that because it was also hit here it was, all this part was crushed so I started uh, to restore it and I, well, I thought that maybe you want to know what kind of tools I use for doing this and uh, how difficult or easy it is to do it. So I'm going to make a little video of uh, how I fix this kind of, of damage. Okay, so what I have. I have uh, this uh, little anvil, aluminum anvil that is very, very smooth. It has a, a, a concave um, uh, surface. Then I have a little rod of uh, Teflon, and then these tools that are used for uh, original are they are made for uh, for leather, but I use this for uh, profiling, for example, for for uh, uh, redressing this uh, this uh, edge, and also a little stick, a very smooth stick that came from a uh, old hammer. Okay, and that's all. And this is sort of um, uh, it's a tool I made with also uh, the Teflon rod that has concave and convex uh, uh, pieces that can also be turned to use uh, uh, on, uh, on a smaller surface. And this is my, my, my main tool. This is what I use mainly for, uh, for fixing the, this, this damage. So let me start working on it. To show you how, how I do it. So, first of all, is clean the horn as much as possible because if you have any any dirt, grit, uh, sand, or corrosion or whatever, you are going to embed that into the aluminium, and you're going to to make a lot of uh, scratches. Okay, you are going to scratch it anyway, no matter how hard you 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 try, you try to, to avoid it. But then, well, you can polish it, and uh, the less you scratch it, the easier it will be to, to polish it. Okay, so let's start, for example, with a little ding like, like this one, okay? For this one, let me see if I can reach it. No, I cannot reach it here, you see, because it's too far away. Okay, so let's do, let's do it with the second way of, of doing it. What I'm going to do is to apply this surface to here. Okay, with very gently, you see, it's already much better, and I can push a little bit more. And then you you, you have to 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 start filling the uh, the tools and the metal. Okay, for example, for removing the little ridge that I have here. What I'm going to use is a little ridge in this uh, wood stick, and you can, I don't know if you, with the video you can see it, but if you watch closely, you see that I'm just working on the ridge, and you can see the little, the little protrusion that makes the tool, so you can guide it and you can move it across the ridge. Okay. As always, when you push the metal, you are going to deform it, and the surrounding uh, area is also going to push a little bit, so you can then push it back with the Teflon. Okay. So by working it, you arrive to a much better surface. Okay, here it is. You see? Way better. And like that, you can do most of them. This part, for example, was uh, very, very um, um, uh, damaged, and now I, I use this tool and then to smooth it you can just work it like this 
and work it in this other way, okay? Like this. For example, here I have a little ridge. Let's work it with the tool. Like uh, this. Uh, You see? It just disappeared. Okay, another little spot here. This is the a very small version of an English wheel. Uh, instead of, of having wheels here rolling, you just slide it, but it's the same principle. Okay, much better. Here I also have a little dent. <laughs> Almost there. Okay. All this part is much better. Let's attack a big one like this one. Okay. Let's go for it. Okay. You have to be very patient and, ne and never rush it. Little by little. Because if you rush it, you will overstretch the, the metal and it will expand and it will never come back. And then you have also to be very gentle to, to don't allow the metal to work harder. Aluminium and uh, well, almost all the metals, when you work it, um, they become hard. And then the only way of uh, of making it uh, again soft is to is to um, to heat it. But aluminium between between annealing and melting, and this thin aluminium is very 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 close. So there's a trick, if you want to anneal it without melting it, is you just rub, uh, imagine this is soap, you, you rub soap, it becomes white, and then with a torch you, be, you, you apply heat until the soap, the powder of soap becomes brown. And then the, the temperature, the temperature is, is about white. So then you clean the soap and you can work it again because you have anneal it. Okay, so as you can see, we are working the worst part of it. And this is already looking different. As you can see, it's much better. Let's work on this as before with the Teflon rod. Okay, here we have a little problem here. Let's try to By the way, this is what I'm doing with the, with the fingers. You cannot imagine with uh, with patience how much you can repair a horn with only your fingers. Imagine this, well, not imagine. See this uh, little bump here, just with the fingers, with your nail. Okay. Okay.
See there? Almost gone. Same thing with this one, but also if you, if you have a tool, it's way, way, way easier. Just with a Teflon rod or with a wood stick, soft wood stick, you can work it with a little bit of patience and you end up with a very smooth surface okay and what happens when you fix a, a dent you start seeing another one for example this one you see this lip is is uh, is bent so it's a never-ending story when you start fixing a horn you uh, you first fix the big dents and then the the the, the more the smaller ones uh, starts uh, uh, being more evident so you can spend a full afternoon um, repairing a horn and uh, it's uh, it's almost a never-ending story but it's very very uh, um, rewarding um, thing to do okay so you get the idea Now we have to work this and this, that is it's more difficult because way, they are way deeper. Sometimes with, uh, for example, you have a very small rod and you have not, not enough uh, length, you can uh, also use a big rod that is held on a vise and uh, with the tip uh, Teflon or, or soft wood, sorry, sorry, smooth wood, hard wood, but smooth. And uh, so you can push here and, and you can smooth this, okay? But you get the idea from uh, how we began the video some minutes ago till now the uh, difference is already uh, a big one okay that's enough for today thank you very much bye